we are going to come to the back of our mat and you're going to start sitting on your shins. So you can either have your toes tucked under or you can have the tops of your feet flat to the floor, whatever suits you the best. You're going to bring your palms face down on your legs. You're going to take a nice deep inhale through the nose, draw your shoulders up to the ears and then a big open mouth exhale, let it go. You're going to close your mouth, start your Ujjayi Pranayama. On your next inhale, you're going to do a little baby back bend, open the sternum up to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to fold forward, tap your forehead to the floor, untuck your toes if you were sitting on them. You're going to come up, inhale, little baby back bend. And then exhale, bring it down to the floor, tap the forehead. One more inhale, little baby back bend. And this time as you exhale, you're going to come forward, land in a tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. On your next inhale, drop your belly, reach your sternum forward, cow belly breath. And then as you exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, tuck and round. One more like this and we'll add on. Inhale. Exhale. This time you're going to bring your right leg with you. So as you inhale, sole of the right foot comes to the sky, engage your glute. And then as you exhale, you're going to tuck and round, knee comes to the nose. Inhale, foot to the sky. Listen carefully, option this time as you exhale, you'll tuck the back toes, lift the back knee as you bring that right knee to the chest. Inhale, drop the knee, cow belly breath, right foot to the sky. Exhale, option to lift the, right, uh, the left knee, draw the right knee to the chest. We'll do two more. Last one. We'll come back into that donkey kick shape. So bring your right foot up to the sky. Reach your left hand back. You're just going to tap your fingers to your foot and then open your chest to the sky. Engage the glutes to see if you can get the leg higher. Gentle bend into your elbow. Gaze is wherever the neck is most comfortable. Take one more inhale and one more exhale. Set that right foot and left hand down. On your next inhale, left foot comes to the sky, reach the sternum forward. And then as you exhale, tuck the knee to the nose. Inhale, come into the cow belly breath, foot to the sky. Option to lift the right knee. This time as you exhale, bring that left knee to the chest. Inhale, drop the knee, cow belly breath. Exhale, tuck and round. We'll do two more here. Last one. Set that right knee down, left foot to the sky, reach those right fingers back. Just tap your fingers to the foot and then use your glutes and hamstrings to send that foot a little higher to the sky. Reach your sternum forward without just dumping into your lower back. Take two more breaths here. You're going to release the left foot to the floor. Walk your hands forward and come into a puppy pose. So your hips stay above your knees. You're sinking your chest and your forehead down towards the floor. So try not to bring your chin to the floor. Don't crank in through your neck. You're actively pulling your hips back and creating space by reaching your fingertips forward. Take two more breaths here. From here, you're going to plant your forearms down on the floor, tuck under your toes, and you're going to walk your feet forward into a dolphin pose. Bend and straighten the knees, start to open up the hamstrings. This is not going to be your deepest dolphin. You can be really, really long here if you need to be. Take two more breaths. If you need to, you're going to walk your feet back about a footprint, half a footprint. We're going to lift from here into downward dog. So take an inhale. As you exhale, press into the hands. See if you can lift both elbows at the same time. And then as you inhale, you'll tap them back to the floor. Exhale, press the floor away. Come up. Inhale, tap it down. We're going to do three more here. If this bothers your shoulders, you can bring your knees down to the floor or you can just stay in dolphin. We've got one more. 
We're going to lower the elbows down into dolphin pose and then we're going to walk the feet all the way back until we land in our forearm plank. As always, knees can be down here. Palms either face down towards the floor or together. If you really need to, interlace the palms, but try not to if you don't have to. Draw your elbows back towards your toes, toes towards your elbows. Engage through your legs. Head and neck are nice and relaxed. We're going to take four more breaths here. Last breath. Lower your knees down, lower your thighs down. Bring your sternum through the gateway of your arms coming into Sphinx pose. If Sphinx is too much, you can come down into a baby cobra. If you're nice and active through your legs, draw your lower belly away from the floor and think of isometrically pulling your elbows back towards your hips to help to bring your sternum through. You should feel this in your upper back. Two more breaths. An iguana falling out of a tree. Yeah. <laughs> Usually what happens. Whoops. You're going to tuck your toes under. You're going to engage through your legs. So lift your knees up first, engage your lower belly, and then you're going to press yourself back up into your forearm plank. You're going to walk your feet all the way forward, coming into your dolphin pose. Press down through your palms, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, press the floor away, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, sweep your right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Draw the right shoulder down, send the right knee up to the sky and curl your right heel in towards your butt. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna shift forward, tap your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, take it back, open the hip. Exhale, shift forward, right knee, right elbow. If this is bothering your oblique, you can do this from your knees. So you could be in a tabletop and come here. And if that's bothering you, how's that downward dog? The downward dog takes longer. It engages your oblique. Yeah. Hang out in your downward dog. That's fine. We're going to do one more. And then we're going to step that right foot all the way up in between the feet. Drop your back knee, untuck your toes. As you inhale, sweep those arms all the way up and overhead. And then as you exhale, you're going to interlace your fingers behind you. Glue your thumbs to your sternum, uh, sorry, to your sacrum. Lengthen it away from your, from your head. And then start to open your chest towards the sky. So think of someone pulling a coat off your shoulders and you're really opening up through your collarbones. Take one more breath here. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, you're going to send the hips back, straighten out through that front leg. Inhale, come back into your low lunge. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, lift the back knee, step back, high plank pose. As always, knees can be down here. We're going to hold for five breaths. Unlock your elbows, press the floor away from you, engage your legs, and don't let your face drop towards the floor. Four more breaths. First Chaturanga, you're going to shift forward. We're lowering all the way down to the belly for a count of five, four, three, two, one. When you get there, untuck the toes as you inhale, elbows back, peel the chest forward, baby cobra. And then as you exhale, bring it down. Option to lift the hands here if you want to. Otherwise, you're isometrically pulling the heels of the hands back towards your hips. Exhale, bring it down. We've got three more here. Last one, we're going to hold it at the top. Keep lengthening through your lower back. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to shoot your arms out in a, a big Y kind of position. If this doesn't feel good for your arms, you can shoot them back or directly in front of you. As you inhale, you're going to tap your hands to the floor and then exhale, lift them up. Inhale, tap down exhale lift up we're going to do four more here make the lift come from your upper back and not your neck one more 
hands back underneath the shoulders. We're coming back into plank. We're going to do it for a count of five. So lower your knees if you need to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, we're coming up for five. Elbows hug the body for four, three, <laughs> two, one. And then send it all the way back, downward facing dog. Remember, you can hang out here. Otherwise, you're going to inhale, sweep that left leg up. And then as you exhale, draw the left shoulder down. As you send the left knee to the sky, draw the left heel in towards the glute, opening the dog. So Justin, you can hang out here if this next bit's irritating your ribs. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, we're going to shift forward, tap left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it back, open the dog. Exhale, shift forward, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it up. We're going to do three more. That breeze is so delightful. <laughs> also, is someone wearing sunscreen? It smells really nice. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Well, something smells nice. Smell, smell. <laughs> you smell delightful, Justin. <laughs> We're going to step it all the way through, lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. I actually think it's ash because it didn't smell that good until you arrived in the room. <laughs> I don't think it's definitely not me. We're going to interlace the fingers behind us. Move one finger over. Glue your thumbs to your sacrum. Lengthen your sacrum away from you. I don't know why this series of words is so hard for me to say. And then as if I've got my hands in between your shoulder blades, you're going to open your chest up to the sky. So you don't have to crank your head back. Your head is wherever is the most comfortable for you. This is hard because thoracic extension is hard because that's not the direction that our spine likes to go in. You're going to release the inhale, sweep those arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, just for one breath, send those hips back, straighten out through that front knee. Inhale, come back into your low lunge. And then as you exhale, plant the hands. We're coming into plank. So you can hang out in your regular plank. You can lower your knees here if you need to. Unlock your elbows, engage your legs, take an inhale. As you exhale, using your right glute, you're going to float your right leg, point it back behind you. Take a peek down, make sure you haven't rotated through your pelvis, so don't drop one hip. And then inhale, slow with control, you'll set that foot down. Exhale, you'll lift the left leg. Inhale, slow, set it down. Exhale, the right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, the left. Inhale, set it down. We're going to do three more on each side, nice and slow. One more each side. Come into your plank pose. We're going to come all the way down to the belly. We've got a count of 10. So shift forward, start to lower down for 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Interlace your fingers behind you. Forehead starts on the mat. Same thing that we were just doing in that lunge. Think of someone peeling a coat off your shoulders. Open up through your collarbones. Take an inhale. As you exhale. down and start to peel your chest off the mat. So you're probably not going to get very far and that's okay. Your gaze is down, the back of your neck is long. Take an inhale here. Upper body stays. As you exhale, you're going to use your hamstring, curl your right heel to your glute and then inhale, set it down. So your thigh stays down. Exhale, left heel to the glute. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, right. Inhale, bring it down. Don't let your lower back take over. Exhale, left. Inhale, bring it down. We've got one more each side. And then you're going to slowly lower all the way down to the floor. We're going to switch this out. So you're just going to move one finger over with that grip, but you're going to keep the same position. You're going to take an inhale, and then as you exhale, you're going to peel your upper body off. This time we're going to do a glute press. So bend your right knee, take an inhale. As you exhale, see if you can lift your thigh off, but don't swing your knee out to the side and don't rotate your foot. Inhale, slow, set it down, lengthen the leg. As you exhale, bend the left knee and then see if you can press that foot to the sky. Inhale, lengthen it out. We've got two more on each side. Exhale, right, lift, 
inhale lengthen down exhale left lift inhale lengthen down you can always set your head down if you need exhale right lift inhale set it down exhale left lift inhale set it down and then relax all the way down so hopefully you can feel the difference between your glutes and your hamstrings plant your hands underneath your shoulders ash we're coming up for a count of 10. <laughs> memo has been received knees can be down elbows pin into the body take a nice deep inhale as you exhale use your nine eight seven don't let your pelvis touch the ground four three two one downward facing dog take a nice deep inhale and take a nice deep exhale look towards the top of your mat baby steps of the feet to the back of the wrists when you get there take an inhale halfway lift and lengthen and then as you exhale forward fold generous bend in the knees drop the tail towards the floor peel yourself all the way up to standing and then as you inhale sweep those arms all the way up towards the sky exhale dive forward forward fold inhale halfway lift and lengthen as you exhale step walk or float chaturanga your choice plank baby cobra upward dog if you're coming to upward dog engage your thighs the back bends in your upper back option to come back to chaturanga inhale to plank and then exhale downward dog so you can make that vinyasa whatever you want look to the top step walk or float inhale lengthen exhale forward fold inhale come all the way to stand inhale lengthen exhale step walk or float take it through your vinyasa we all meet in downward facing dog look to the top step walk or float inhale lengthen exhale forward fold inhale raise exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale take it through your vinyasa we meet in dog look to the top step walk or float we'll do two more rounds inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale raise exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale with or without your vinyasa downward dog last round look to the top step walk or float inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale raise exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale with or without your vinyasa down dog You're going to shift forward into a plank pose you're going to lower your knees down and then you're going to come to stand on your shins you're going to bring one hand to your height and one hand kind of just below your belly button imagine that you've got like a line between those two points and you don't want to pull it apart you're going to take an inhale you're going to hinge back at your knees so you're going to feel your quads you're going to feel your glutes you're going to hinge back as far as you can and then you're going to exhale and bring it back to center inhale so it's not a back bend we're hinging from the knees and then exhale bring it forward we're going to do eight more of these if you don't feel these in your quads you either need to go back further or you need to keep that connection between your palms on the front of your body coming together more does that make sense good yes yeah and you will you will probably feel it more down towards your knees we've got five more I think last one you're going to come back to tabletop and then you're going to walk your hands all the way forward coming into your puppy pose we're just going to take one breath here big exhale 
ground down through your forearms, walk yourself forward, dolphin pose. So I'm gonna give you two options here. It's really gonna depend on how you're feeling in your body. You can either take alternating leg lifts up behind you like you would in downward dog, engaging your glutes if your shoulders are an issue. Otherwise, you're gonna look forward, you're gonna shift forward, we're gonna do those push-ups where you tap your nose and you come back. I'm going to do 10 push-ups and you're just going to keep doing leg lifts if that's what you're doing until I'm done. So you take it to wherever you're going, depending on how your body is feeling today. We've got about eight more breaths. If you're doing your push-ups, make sure you keep walking those elbows in underneath the shoulders. Last breath. If you're doing leg lifts, make sure you're even, and then we're all going to meet in a forearm plank. Your shoulders have been doing a lot of work, so if you need a break, take it. We're going to take those little leg lifts here. So take an inhale. As you exhale, engage the back of your right leg, lift that leg up, make sure you don't drop that side of the pelvis. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left. Inhale, set it down. We've got three more on each side. Relax the space between your neck and your shoulders. One more each side. And then we're going to come back down into our sphinx pose. You doing okay, Ash? Yeah. A little bit of a shoulder break. Yeah, you take as much of a break as you need to. Okay. We're going to take Vekasana frog pose. This is uh, just gets into some position where it's like, nope. and it's just this unhappy. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a, I just pulled a muscle. <laughs> We're gonna come into frog <laughs> pose. You see our marital. It's all right, Dan's sick at the moment, so I'm giving him a lot of shit. You're gonna take, you're gonna bend your right knee. So like we did with those hamstring curls, your right hand is gonna come back, your thumb turns towards the sky. You can definitely bring your head down here and just come into a quad stretch, bending that knee. If you wanna take the full pose, you keep that sphinx arm on the left. Your finger is flipped towards the front of the room and your elbow comes up towards the sky. This is a lot in through your shoulder. So you're holding your toe. So you start with your thumb up towards uh -huh. the sky, that's it. And then you'll pivot your fingers towards your pinky toe and then towards your shoulder, but your elbow is bending up towards the sky. It's a lot of shoulder. It's a lot of shoulder. To be honest, I feel this more in my shoulder than my quad. And then we're slow going to release it and we're going to take it to the other side. So once again, you could just come into the quad stretch. You could bring your head down and just bring that heel towards you. Otherwise, the right hand goes back, thumb up towards the sky, flip your fingers towards the front of the room, and then your elbow comes up. And one side might be different to the other. We've got one more breath here. You're going to slow release that foot. Come back into that sphinx pose. You're going to engage your legs, lift your knees, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, we're coming back into that plank pose. From here, you're just going to do a little bit of a shift back and forward. If this bothers your shoulders, you're just going to hold the plank. Otherwise, you're going to come onto your tippy toes, shift your weight forward. And then as you exhale, you shift back into your feet. Yes. And you can also do this on your palms as well. And then exhale it back. We're going to do eight more here giving that lower back a little bit of a release. One more. We're going to walk our feet all the way forward into dolphin pose. We're meeting in downward dog, so you can always just go straight there. Otherwise, from your dolphin, you'll press the floor away, straighten those elbows, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat, step, walk, float. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Sink the weight into the heels, keep the toes down, bend the knees, reach the arms forward, chair pose.
We're going to hang out here for five breaths. Nothing fancy yet. Yet. There's always a caveat. Okay, take one more breath. Legs are going to stay as they are. You're going to bring your arms into cactus arms out beside you. As you inhale, like you're doing a chest press, so imagine that you're trying to pop a ball in between your hands. Squeeze your chest muscles, forearms together, and then as you exhale, you're going to open them back out into that cactus. Don't go so far that you feel your upper traps working. I want you to feel the back of your shoulders working. Inhale, chest muscles, squeeze those palms towards each other. And then as you exhale, open out into that cactus. Keep sinking low in those legs. We're going to do three more. Last one. Come into your chair pose. Inhale. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step back, plank pose. Oh, I wondered if that was happening sometimes. Okay, we're going to do those leg lifts again. Once again, drop your left knee if you need to. This time we're going to bend the right knee, so it's like a little donkey kick. As you inhale, you're going to tap the knee to the floor without dropping your pelvis. And then as you exhale, you're going to squeeze from your glute, lift it to the sky. Drop your knee if you need to. Inhale, bring it down. And then exhale, you'll squeeze it up. You get just as much work doing this off your knee. We're going to do eight more. I want you to feel this in your glute. I don't want you to be dumping into your lower back. We've got four more. Last one. You'll step that foot or knee down and we're going to take it straight to the other side. So now you'll bend your left knee, right knee can be down. As you inhale, you'll tap the left knee to the floor. As you exhale, engage the glute and hamstring, foot to the sky. Inhale, tap, exhale to raise. Eight more. Do you guys have a generator? Uh, the neighbors do. Ah. This is the full heater. Ah. You're going to set it down, and we're going to come to downward facing dog. Take a little break. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. And then you're going to shift all the way forward. We're going to lower down. We're going to hold in our chaturanga. So lower your knees if you need to. Shift forward. Chaturanga. We're going to hold for five, four, Three, relax your neck. For two, engage your legs. One, lower all the way down to the belly. Fingertips come wide, elbows up to the ceiling. 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 I'm having a hard time talking you today. <laughs> Inhale. You're going to peel the chest off the floor. And then as you exhale, you're going to drop that right shoulder, look mm -hmm. over to the left. This should feel really nice on the front of that right shoulder. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, dip the left shoulder, look over to the right. We're going to do one more on each side. Inhale. Exhale, look left. Inhale, center. Exhale, look right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, lower it down. You're going to take your feet as wide as the mat and you're going to turn your toes out. So we're going to engage a different part of our glutes now. You're going to bring your arms wide like a capital Y. So you're in a starfish shape. Forehead starts on the mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, from the back of your shoulders and from your glutes, you're going to lift everything up. So draw your belly away from the floor. Don't just press your belly into the floor. You can totally do this keeping your head down as well. And then as you inhale, you're going to bring it down. And you can just lift like a centimeter. It's, it's fine. And if you need to make this easier, you bring everything closer to your body so your arms come through the back behind you. As you exhale, you'll lift up. And then as you inhale, you'll come down. It's a good practice for skydiving. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lift down. We're going to do three more. I realize that you can't lift down, but you get, you get the point. 
This last one, we're going to hold it at the top. As you inhale, you're going to bring your hands together in front of you, your feet together behind you like a Superman. And then as you exhale, open it out into your star. Inhale, bring everything together. Exhale, open it out into a star. We've got three more here. Last one. Bring those hands back underneath you like a chaturanga. We're going to come up into a chaturanga hold. Lower your knees if you need to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lift up halfway. Chaturanga, we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Plank pose, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. As you inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, step it all the way through. We're coming up into our crescent lunge. Make sure you're wide enough. And when you're ready, inhale, come all the way up. Load down into that front leg. So make sure you've got a nice deep bend in through the knee. You can bring your torso forward a little bit if that helps to release your back hip flexor and allow you to get into that front leg. One more breath here. So we're going to do that same arm movement that we did in the chair. So you're going to bring your arms to a cactus. As you inhale, you're going to come forward into a power lunge. Bring your forearms together. As you exhale, we're going to come to stand on the right leg. Bring those arms out into that cactus. As you inhale, step back into your power lunge. Forearms squeeze together. As you exhale, power through that front leg. Come to stand. Arms into a cactus. Three more. Inhale, power lunge, forearms together. Exhale, single leg stand, cactus. Last two. This last one, we're going to stand on our right leg. We're going to stay standing on our right leg. You can bring your hands to wherever you want to. If you want a little chest opener, you can interlace them behind your back. That right, uh, sorry, that left leg is going to come behind you. So I don't want you to just shove your hips forward. You're pretty neutral. You're going to turn your toes towards the floor. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift that leg behind you and then inhale, tap it down. Exhale, keep the knee straight. Inhale, tap it down. So what I don't want you to do is turn your toes out to the side of your mat. I want you to get your glute max, that big meaty bit of your butt. Yeah, that's it. Rum prost. Yeah, there you go. We're going to do six more here. So try not to shove your torso forward. It doesn't matter if you don't come very far. I want this movement to come from your hip. I think we've got two more. Keep that leg lifted behind you. We're coming into Justin's favorite pose, Warrior Three. You're going to bring that torso forward. So we're going to do that same movement. So you're going to lower your leg a couple of inches. Keep your toes almost internally rotate too much. So almost turn your toes towards the midline a little too much. And then as you exhale, you're going to lift that leg just to the height of the hip. Inhale, a little lower. Exhale, big squeeze. We're just going to do three more. last one. You're going to step that left leg all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale, come up into your crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, hands find the floor, plank pose. We're going to come into a side plank. If this is going to bother anybody's back, obliques, whatever, see if you can go onto your knee and see how that feels. And if that still bothers you, then let me know. Is that okay? Yeah. That's okay? Yeah, yep. Right. Okay. We're going to... <laughs> also ashley anybody who has issues take it up with me okay right knee down right hand down left arm is up you're going to float that left leg keep your left hip stacked on top of your right you're going to inhale that left leg's going to float in front of you and then as you exhale it's going to float behind so this is a little movement i don't want this to come from your back i want it to come from your hip so your top hand can come to your hip and if that hip is wobbling all over the place, you're going too far. You should feel this a lot in your bottom leg. We're going to go one more. 
you're going to set it down and then we're going to come to the other side so plant that left hand left knee if you're taking it down you're going to float that right leg bring that right hand to the right hip make sure that hip's not going anywhere you'll float the right leg in front of you and then you exhale float it behind you inhale float it in front exhale float it behind we do three more And then we're going to come back to your plank. So if you did those well, your glutes should be quite sore. We're going to come back into a chaturanga hold. I'm going to give you the option to add movement. So lower your knees if you need to. Shift forward, lower down, chaturanga. We're going to take those little leg lifts. So as you exhale, right leg will float. Inhale it down. Left leg will float. Inhale it down. We've got four more on each side. Don't dive your chest forward. One more each side. Lower all the way down to your belly. You're going to interlace your fingers behind you again. You could also just reach them back if this is a lot for your shoulders. You're going to bend your knees. Keep your knees hips distance apart. Take an inhale. Your forehead is down. As you exhale, start by keeping your legs down and just peel your chest off. If you can keep your shoulders open, you can start to move your hands away from your sacrum and reach them back before between your heels. If that causes you to collapse through your shoulders though, you're better just keeping your hands on your sacrum. Take another inhale here. And then as you exhale, engage your glutes. See if you can lift your knees off as well as your chest. Squeeze your heels towards your glutes. This is like a bow pose. This is all the work that you need to do for a bow pose, except you don't have any leverage. We're gonna do two more breaths. And then exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. Hands come underneath the shoulders. We're coming back into a chaturanga hold. Lower your knees if you need to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come up into your chaturanga. We do those leg lifts again. We've got five on each side. Exhale right, inhale down. Exhale left, inhale down. Four more each side. One more each side. Press the floor away from you. Come all the way into your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale and a nice deep exhale. The left leg comes to the sky as you inhale. As you exhale, step it all the way through. Crescent lunge as you inhale. And then we held here for a while, didn't we? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So if you need to come out of that hip flexor a bit, just bring your, bring your torso forward a bit and load into this leg. So like your foot is got concrete pouring through it. Okay. We're going to come back to those cactus arms. So bring those arms out into a cactus. As you inhale, that chest comes forward into your power lunge. Bring your forearms together, chest squeezes. As you exhale, ground down through the left foot, come to stand, right knee to chest, cactus out the arms. Inhale, step back into your power lunge, forearms together. As you exhale, left foot, cactus arms. We'll do three more. Last one. We're going to stay standing on that left leg. Bring your hands to wherever it feels good for you. You can interlace them behind you if you want to. That right leg floats behind you. So remember, we're not shoving our rib cage forward. We're not shoving our butt back behind us. Toes are turning in slightly. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to squeeze that butt behind you. Try and keep your knees straight. And then as you inhale, tap those toes to the floor. Exhale behind you. Inhale, tap it down. We're going to do eight more here. Channel your inner ballerina. Yeah, I think you're probably about the closest out of all of us. <laughs> yeah, try keep your knee straight. Last one. 
We're going to keep that leg up there. You're going to bring your torso forward coming into your warrior three. You can keep the interlace of the fingers or you can keep them wherever you want to. Gentle bend in through your left knee. Inhale, let that right leg drop a little bit. Internally rotate a little bit. And then as you exhale, you're going to lift that leg, squeeze your glute. Inhale, let it drop a bit. Exhale, squeeze it up. We've got three more. We're going to step that right leg all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up, crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down, find your plank pose. We're going to take shoulder taps here. So drop your knees if you need to. Gentle bend um, in through the elbows. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, ground down through the right foot as the right hand taps the left shoulder. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left hand taps. Inhale, set it down. We're going to do four more on each side. Better to do it on your knees. And your hips are going to wiggle a little bit. But yeah, if you're wiggling a lot, then do it from your knees. That's great. You're still going to get a good amount of work, even if you modify. Modification is not a bad thing. It means that you can get stronger. Come back into your plank pose. We're going to come down into our chaturanga. We're going to come back into our plank. We're going to do two more. Chaturanga. Back into our plank. Last one. Chaturanga. We're going to hold for five, for four, for three, for two, one, bring it all the way down to the belly. We're going to come into our bow pose. So you can absolutely stick with what we did before. So where we interlace the fingers and then we just bent the knees and then we came up. That's a really, really good, op um, a really good option. It makes you really strong. If you want to go for the bind, I recommend only having a couple of fingers on your feet. So I don't want you to just yank yourself up into hyperextension, right? That's not going to achieve anything. You're just going to fuck up your back. You don't want that. So you're going to reach your hands back with or without aiming to get your feet. Take an inhale. As you exhale, first peel your chest off the mat. Feel your upper back working. Then engage your glutes, engage your hamstrings, lift your heels, and then see if you can curl your heels in towards your butt. Maybe your fingers can reach. Maybe they can't. Shalabhasana is also a good option, Ash. Yep, that's what you're doing. My prime example. Yeah. Always you. I can't bend my knees without. No, it's fine. That. You're always you're always nailing it. We're gonna do three more here. Last breath. And then exhale, let it all go down to the floor. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then a nice deep exhale. Hands underneath the shoulders. We're coming back up through chaturanga. We're just gonna be there for a breath. Take an inhale. As you exhale, chaturanga, take one inhale, take one exhale, press the floor away, high plank pose. You're going to step your right foot in underneath your um, hip and then your left foot in underneath your hip. Right foot back, left foot back. So we're doing bear crawls. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. We're going to keep alternating. We're going to do six more in total. So three with each side leading. One more each side. And then you're going to set those knees down, walk your hands back to your knees, and you're going to come up to stand on your shin. So you can stick with what we did before. If you wanted to take that matrix camel variation where you're hinging back from the knees. Otherwise, we're going to walk through different variations of camel. So the first one, whew, out of breath. You're going to start with your um, thumbs on your sacrum. I think it's the thumbs and the sacrum in the same sentence that really fucks me up. It's too many. Yeah, there's, there's too many letter combinations. Anyway, you're going to start with that situation so you're thinking of drawing your thumbs away from you and then as if i've got my fingers in between your shoulder blades and i'm pressing your sternum up to the sky like your sternum's getting dragged up by a string towards the sky open your collarbones 
So this could be where you stay. You could also flip your palms like you're bringing them into your back pocket, draw your elbows together and bend from there. It's a little bit more of a shoulder opener. We're all gonna hang out in a variation like this for the first few breaths and that'll give you an option to go deeper. We'll take one more breath. And then as you exhale, you'll slowly engage your abs, release it, come to sit on your heels. Bring your interlace your fingers and you're just gonna give your wrists a little bit of love. You can bring them up, you can bring them down and change directions. So we're going to do another round of camel. You can do the same thing that we just did. Otherwise, I'm going to give you the option to go deeper. So if you wanted to go deeper, your first option would be to tuck under your toes and bring your heels a little bit closer to you. It's that same hinge movement from your knees. So keep yourself relatively flat into your torso, hinge back from your knees, and then reach your fingertips for your heels, and then start to bring your sternum through the gateway of the arms. That would be your first option. Your second option would be the feet would be flat to the floor and it's exactly the same thing. So wherever you wanna go, we're gonna hinge back at the knees, fingers are reaching for the heels. Once you find them, then you bring the sternum through the gateway of the arms like you're coming into a cow belly breath. Gaze is wherever the neck is comfortable so you don't have to look back, you can look forward or wherever is good for you, but keep breathing. And remember, you can come into that first variation that we did as well. We're going to do two more breaths wherever you are. If you came into a deeper variation, you're going to reverse it. So neutralize your spine, engage the front of your thighs, and then hinge yourself out of it. Are you okay? Okay. Everybody is falling apart today. <laughs> Without that happening. Okay. We're going to come back into a tabletop. And you're just going to do a disco cat. So that means that your pelvis, yeah, disco cat. Some people call it sexy cat, but I find that's a bit raunchy for yoga. So we're going to go with disco cat because it sounds like more fun. You're just going to do big circles with your pelvis, like you're drawing circles with your butt on the wall behind you. Release in through that lower back. And then you'll change directions. What time it actually is. Are you guys on a time schedule? It's almost 12. Okay. Okay. Well, it's almost 12. Okay. Okay. We'll start to wrap this up then. Okay. You're going to come into your downward facing dog. You're going to inhale, sweep your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, you're going to cactus out your arms. Inhale, come into your power lunge. Draw your forearms together. As you exhale, come to stand on that right leg. As you inhale, keep the knee bent. That leg is going to come behind you. Start to reach your arms back. We're coming towards dancer. So your hips, uh, sorry, your torso is going to start to come forward. Draw your left heel in towards your glute. Maybe your left hand can reach your foot and you can reach that right hand forward. Natra Jasana dancer's pose. It's the same thing with bow as with bow pose. I don't want you to just use that foot to yank on and bring yourself deeper into the back bend. I want you to use your glutes, hamstrings, and back muscles to bring that back bend. I'm going to take one more breath. You're going to release that foot, come into your warrior three, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, step that left foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, plank pose. We're going to lower down, chaturanga, take an inhale. As you exhale, come back to plank. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, hold. This time as you inhale, baby cobra, up dog, straight back to plank, wherever you want to go. And then as you exhale, we all meet in downward facing dog. Sweep that left leg to the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, step it through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, power lunge, forearms tap. As you exhale, come to stand on that left leg. Inhale, keep the knee bent. The right leg comes behind you. As you exhale, start to hinge forward. Reach your hands back. Curl your right heel to your glute. Maybe your right fingertips reach that foot. Maybe your left arm reaches forward. Natra Jasana dances pose. 
gentle bend in through that left knee. I feel like we should do that Jesus thing that they do. We're going to take two more breaths here. You're going to release into your warrior three. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, step back. Inhale, crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, step back into your plank. We're going to do a double chaturanga. So shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. All the way to the belly. Inhale, come into your back bend. Up dog, baby cobra. Exhale, and bring it down. One last time as you inhale, you're going to press up to Chaturanga. And we're going to hold for 10. This is our last one. Nine, nearly done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press the floor away. Downward facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat. You're going to step, walk, or float through to a seat. We finish with a little bit of abs. I'll give you a quick stretch. And then we are out of here. So come into your Navasana boat pose. You can stay here. Otherwise, if this really bothers you, Justin, hang out here. Is yeah. this okay? Yeah, a little bit. How's this? Two feet down. Is that okay? Okay. If it bothers you, then don't do it. As you inhale, we're going to come down to low boat. Exhale to boat. Inhale to low boat. <laughs> We've got eight more. I love that Ash and I are both just like simultaneously like. I need an able-bodied parent somewhere. We've got five more. Pretty much. That's how it goes. Hold in your boat pose for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Set those legs down in front of you. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and overhead. And then as you exhale, fold forward, Pashimottanasana. Okay, that's what's up every single time on boat pose. Yeah. 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 It's very yeah, common. Right. Yeah. yeah Snapping right. hip syndrome. It's as your iliopsoas like snaps yeah. over the bone. Yeah. And then you're slowly going to roll yourself up. We're going to come into a hip stretch. We didn't do a whole lot of hip opening. So we're going to come into, you could either just come into a simple cross-legged position. That might be enough. Okay. We're nearly done. Okay. Um, if you feel like your hips are up to it, you're going to come into Gomukhasana. So that left leg will be underneath and that right leg will stack on top. Otherwise, if this is too much, then you come back to what we were doing before. You could stay here. If you want to take a shoulder opener, left arm comes over and right arm comes under. Or you can go right hand up to the left shoulder. Uh, sorry, up to the left elbow. Right. It's not like I went to university for several years to learn where the fuck the body parts were or anything. <laughs> And then we're going to release it and we're just going to do a little switchy poo to the other side. So you'll take your right leg under, left leg over. And then same thing, you can go left elbow or you can take the bind. And then you're slowly going to release. We're going to finish off with a really gentle twist. So you're just going to cross your legs. Take your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, sit nice and tall. And then as you exhale, you're going to twist it out to the right.
and then inhale, you'll bring it through center, and then exhale, we'll take it to the other side. And then we'll come through center. Okay, so you're going to finish in this seated position. You're going to close down through your eyes, turn your palms up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose, draw the shoulders up to the ears. And then a big open mouth exhale. Keep your eyes closed, bring your hands together at the forehead today. As you go forward, may you have calmness in your thoughts, kindness in your words and tranquility in your heart. Oh, that's a new one. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.